Yeah. I'll always just be finding more and more reasons to rant on this piece of shit. Okay, so this is the Peter Pan episode of... Which I guess is supposed to be a parody or somehow related to it because it's in the title right there. Okay, so basically it's like this virtual simulation of Neverland that they've got, which, well, it's Japan, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, so there's a uh, Holmes Savile. I wonder why everyone has trouble pronouncing his name. He pronounced it Holmes Savile or something. Okay, so, um, he's just sitting on his fat ass. There's, a uh, the guy who, um, I don't know, that one character they ruined. The shark guy, I don't know. There's uh, the one character they actually managed to get right. Of course, they never use him because they like to piss people off. Okay, so he goes out to shoot him. He's like, no, you'll make the series awesome. I can't let you do that, sir. Okay, so basically, so he has this, I don't know. Looks like a James Bond villain. Just needs like a little cat to stroke. You could say, like, you expect me to talk, and he'll be like, No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to have snorty diarrhea come out of your penis. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here he's got this pie graph, I guess. I don't know. There's a uh, Mr. Sandwich Man. I don't know, like, Mr. Sandwich Man, I don't know what his name Okay, anyway, so, basically, as this virtual simulation of Neverland, because, you know, that's the only one of those stories where Disney owns the rights to, we could have gone Narnia or Wizard of Oz or something, I don't know. In fact, I think they should have gone Narnia. That would be harder to screw up. <laughs> okay. So there's a, I don't know what that weird nodding of head thing is. So. Okay, so he has these weird little tags, I guess. And, um, he puts them on the people who go into the Neverland simulation, I guess. And he, there's this weird guy, I guess, who looks like, I don't know, Captain Olimar, if he was not cool. So, um, I don't know, looks like a member of the Foot Clan from the Ninja Turtles, I guess, I don't know. So there's Mr. Sandwich Man again. So he puts the weird little tag on him, and he has this... Captain Olimar antenna, and it has the tag that, well, there's a donut for some reason, and I don't know the, and then his tag turns red, it turns him into, uh, uh, I don't know, Mr. Sandwich Man. Okay, there, and then he's like, yeah, and then the card thing, I don't know, it goes off, and then he turns him into a, it turns him into a, I don't know, it turns him into a tired zombie or something. There's the James Bond villain again. He puts the button and then the thing, and then now he's a tired zombie, and that just looks unpleasant, just like everything else in this flipping show. Okay, so there he is in his weird tights, I guess. I don't know. They like to put him in weird outfits. He's like I know, a ventriloquist dummy. He just needs like a... In fact, he just needs the ventriloquist from Batman, and he can just be called Scarface. And Chilicus and Scarface. Okay, so get this. He puts the tags on everyone except him. And he just has them turn into zombies to kill him. Why not turn him into a zombie? Didn't you originally want him to work for you or something? But now you just want to kill him. How cliched is that? That's, I guess, something a 1960s comic book villain would do. But this isn't a 1960s comic book villain. It's a 2010s anime villain. You should try harder, you bastards. Okay. So now they go into the virtual simulation of Neverland. Okay. First off, what do you remember from Neverland when you saw Peter Pan? Any version. There were pirates. There were a bunch of Indians. There were a bunch of kids who had the inability to go through puberty. There was a flying boy in green tights carrying a dagger. Okay. And guess what they have here? They have the little uh, mushrooms from Super Mario Brothers. Some of the shops from The Legend of Zelda. Um, I don't know. And ice cream stores, arcade machines, and a spaceship. 
Are you, are you sure this is supposed to be the grid from Tron? Because all the content looks like it's from the grid from Tron, like video games, things, all this advanced technology and everything. In fact, why'd you even have to make it Neverland? Couldn't you have just made it the grid from Tron? It seems like you're more interested in technology, so just make it the grid from Tron. In fact, I bet if they... But of course, I bet if they did make it the grid from Tron, then, then it would probably have pirates and non... kids who can't go through puberty or something. I don't know. And... Why are these kids so happy to be in Neverland? It doesn't look anything like Neverland. It looks like the Emerald City from the Wizard of Oz. Except it's not supposed to be that. Okay, so now that we just determined that this Peter Pan episode has nothing to do with Peter Pan in particular, I want to talk about something that really flippin' disgusts me. Look at that. Just look. They took this mentally insane villain, one of the greatest villains in my opinion, one of the greatest villains of all time, and just made him into a pussy. Like, they just made him too sane, I guess. I mean, look, okay. Why don't you take a look at this guy? Why don't you take a look at this sick bastard and tell me that he's mentally well? He is not. And that's what makes him such a great villain. Of course, they just said, no, screw all that. Let's just... I don't know, instead of having him take his girlfriend and throw him off a bridge, let's just have him start hitting on his girlfriend, disguising himself as a furry. <sighs> Sucks. Okay. Also, oh wait, hang on. Kill it. So, there's a man and a woman. I know this is supposed to be a man, this is supposed to be a woman, but no. This looks like, guy looks like a man, this person looks like a woman, really. Okay. They're supposed to be central antagonists, and that's just a bunch of bullshit. I mean, come on. These aren't antagonists, these are just jerks. I mean, like, the Green Goblin is an antagonist, the Joker is an antagonist. They're actually potential threats to the protagonist. And I know what you're gonna bring up. Well, isn't Biff Tannen just a jerk? Like, Biff Tannen from Back to the Future? Well, you know what? The main protagonists are just normal people. Marty McFly and Doc Brown. They were just normal people. But get... So, Biff Tannen is an acceptable antagonist. But when your main protagonist can, like, eat more and somehow get stronger instead of getting less stronger, then you need... I don't know... This guy! What sucks even worse is that... For some reason, they have to go and teach him karate for some reason. I don't know. Well, okay. So a master of who already masters like three fighting styles, I guess, obviously needs to learn karate, right? Just boggles my mind. It's like you have to try to be this terrible. Like, you know what? I think I think it's just the writer's fault because... Clearly, the writer just has a foot fetish for Stitch, so he just puts random things for, of that here and there, and then just doesn't give a shit about the rest of it. Okay, you don't have to listen to that anymore. 